brother McLeod, uh, he's a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's my former Asia Pacific director, meaning to say, he had handled a minimum of 10,000 churches in the whole Asia Pacific. Brother McLeod, for me, he was always very uh, down to earth, uh, easygoing. Uh, I would use the word fun to describe him. He has a wonderful personality, and, uh, and then of course he was very spiritually sensitive and a caring uh, leader. Brother McLeod had a unique way to see something in people that God had placed for leadership and service. He was so patient with me uh, because me and Brother McLeod, we started with the wrong foot forward. The first liner that I remember telling Brother McLeod was, Brother McLeod, I hate you. And the old man just looked down on the floor and I think he was praying. Hindi niya ako pinatulan. And uh, after I had finished my piece, he was so patient uh, explaining his side. I have witnessed a scene wherein uh, so many pastors were against him. He kept his peace. He didn't say a word. He did not explain his side to the point that he was almost stoned to death. For him, what is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. He doesn't care if you are an American, a Filipino, an Indian. For him, he would be a defender of what is right. Uh, what I saw there was uh, it would be the Lord who would be defending him. I also heard a story that he was telling me he would be receiving 150 emails a day. And he has to answer all those emails. If you don't call that love, I don't know how will you call that. <laughs> I think Brother McLeod really loves the Filipino people and love the work of the Lord here in the Philippines and uh, wanting to always invest in the leadership here um, for the future of the church. 2002, when we were together, he had uttered a very powerful word. He said, I said to him, Anthony, I see the Philippines as a giant, a sleeping giant. God's going to send a revival to the Philippines like has never been seen before. Philippines is a sleeping giant. The giant is no longer asleep. The giant is awake and is getting up. And I think that's where the Church of God in the Philippines is at right now. If I would be putting it in one word, what this generation is lacking would be loyalty. And as we honor Dr. Dijero, Bishop Valerio, Bishop Brother McLeod, this is what, uh, what these people are exemplifying, loyalty. Loyalty to our denomination, loyalty to Church of God, and prayerfully that the next generation, the young people, will be uh, absorbing this spirit, the spirit of loyalty. If we are praying for born-again Filipinas, I think we need this powerful word, loyalty.